the function, what if I ask you to evaluate the function? What if I say, evaluate the function at f of negative 1, evaluate the function at f of 0, and evaluate the function at f of 1? Because hint, hint, I might ask this on the test or a quiz, hint, hint. So you'll need to make sure you know how to evaluate a function. And everybody, there's at least one student that always makes a mistake. So it's, I go over this very deliberately. So it's either somebody that's not here today or that's not paying attention that makes this mistake. Please follow through. If you guys look at f of negative 1, let's go to where this graph is. f of negative 1, that's negative 1, right? Remember the x value? I mean, we talked about this. If we had, remember beginning of the year, I think it gave you guys an equation like this, x squared plus 1. And I said, you know, what is f of negative 1? You just plugged in negative 1 into the function. Right? You guys remember functions, plug-ins, I forgot. OK. So we need to do the same thing. The only issue is we have this piecewise function. So which one do you put the function into? Or doesn't it make sense to kind of put it into both? Well, in reality, it doesn't make any sense to put it into both because look at the, what the graph looks like. At negative 1, which function are we dealing with down here? The x cubed, right? Look over where negative 1 is over here. There is no value for the uh, square root of x. There's no value over here. So it makes no sense to plug in negative 1 into the square root of x. So when I do negative 1, I'm just going to put negative 1 into the cap equation, which gives me negative 1. f of 0. Again, we look at this. Where is the fun which function is defined at 0? It might not be obvious here, so let's look in these two graphs. Which one is defined for 0? This one, which is the x cubed graph, right? So again, 0 cubed equals 0. And then last but not least, when we're dealing with 1, we're not dealing with x cubed anymore, right? There is no point on the x cubed graph at 1. We erase that portion. So when we want to evaluate for f of 1, we need to plug it into the first one. So square root of 1 equals 1. Okay. All right.